There are two ways to use the wind side of an E6B flight computer. One is given wind information, you can determine aircraft heading and ground speed. And two, given aircraft heading and ground speed, you can determine wind direction and velocity. The second method is what we will discuss in this video, and it's useful for the instrument pilot knowledge test. Given heading and ground speed, we are going to determine what the wind is doing. In fact, you get a little bit more than heading and ground speed in these problems. There are two modes that can be thought of for the E6B on the wind side. One is airplane mode, and one is wind mode. As discussed in a previous video, airplane mode can be thought of as setting these items up. Then, by rotating the card around and putting it into wind mode, you'll be able to read wind direction and speed. So how do we set the card up in airplane mode? Well, for airplane mode, you need four items, and it will give these to you in the problem. You need the airplane's course, its ground speed, its heading, and its airspeed. You can think of this at the top as setting the things that are actually happening in relationship to the ground at the top and with the grommet. This is the course as would be drawn on a sectional chart. And this is the ground speed, the speed of the aircraft over the ground. The green arc can be represented as the things that would change, would be, a, be, would be affected by wind. For instance, the heading to fly, you might have to crab. And the airspeed, the wind might be slowing you down. And this arc can move throughout the card. So think of curved as movable and changeable depending on wind, and red as being fixed in relationship to the ground. So let's set this up. Say, for instance, you're flying an aircraft on a course of 45 degrees and you're making 95 knots over the ground. These are the items that we know in relationship to the ground. So we're going to set 45 degrees at the top, and we're going to set our ground speed underneath the grommet at 95 knots. Now we also know that we're flying a heading of 38 degrees, and we are having an airspeed of 110 knots. So if we have a heading of 38 degrees, that means that we're holding in 5, 6, 7 degrees to the left of correction. And we know that we're going 110 knots through the air. So we're going to make a dot, a wind dot, to the left of the 110 by 7 degrees. So we're looking at the 110 knot airspeed arc, and we're counting over 2, 4, 6, 7, and placing a wind dot. So using those four items, I now have the card configured in airplane mode. So all we have to do now is rotate the card around to wind mode. Well, what does wind mode look like? Wind mode simply involves the configuration where the wind direction is at the top, and the wind speed dot is aligned with the center line of the card. And once we have that, we can read the direction and the speed. So in our example, I can take the wind dot and I need to rotate it around until it is aligned with the center line on the card. I need to set the grommet at an appropriate value so that I'll be able to count up the number of knots of wind speed. So I'll set it at 100 for ease. Now I can simply count up from the grommet 10, 20 knots of wind. I'll get it aligned right. What direction is the wind coming from? It's coming from 360 degrees. Let's do another problem. Consider now that you're flying a true course as drawn on a sectional of 335 degrees. You're actually holding a heading of 350 degrees, 140 knots of airspeed, and 115 knots of ground speed. So let's configure our card in airplane mode using that given information. Remember, the top down to the grommet is what's actually happening in relation to the ground the course you're flying over the ground, the speed you're flying over the ground. What do we know? We know that we have a course of 335 degrees, so we can set that at the top. We know the speed that we're flying over the ground, our airspeed, or I'm sorry, our ground speed is 115 knots, so I'll set that underneath the grommet. Now we know our heading. Our heading is 350. Compared to 335, we can see that we're holding 5, 10, 15 degrees of correction to the right. But where are we going to indicate that 15 degrees of correction? We're going to use our airspeed arc of 140 knots. 
So the variable thing, the airspeed, we're going to look for the line, and this dot could be anywhere, but in this case it's over the 140 knot airspeed arc, and it's going to be 15 degrees to the right. So over 140, I'm going to place my wind dot at 15. Now the card can be rotated around into wind mode. Wind mode simply involves the wind direction being at the top and the amount of wind being counted up from the grommet along the center line. So to get it into that mode, all I need to do is move my dot over the top of the center line. Now I'm going to move my card for convenience so that I'll be able to count this distance more easily. I'll move it down to 100. So now we can see that we have 10, 20, 30, 42 knots of wind, and the wind direction is 35 degrees. Let's do one more problem. Given a true course of 250, a heading of 240, an airspeed of 160, and a speed over the ground of 175, we need again wind speed and direction. We have information on the aircraft, so let's set up our card in airplane mode. Remember, at the top and down to the grommet is what the airplane is actually doing over the ground, the course that it's flying as would be displayed on a sectional, and the speed that it's flying in relationship to the ground. So what we're flying direction-wise in relation to the ground is our course, 250 degrees, and I'm going to set that at the top. The speed that we're tracking over the ground, in this case, is 175 knots. Now, this other bit of information could be anywhere on the card, and that is our heading and our airspeed. But I don't need a heading, I just need an angle to offset this dot on a certain line, our airspeed line. So how much to offset? Well, the difference between our true course and our true heading, 250, but our heading is actually 240. So that would be holding 5, 10 degrees to the left. So I know that I'm going to be 10 degrees to the left. On what arc, though? 160 knots. So 160 knots, 10 degrees to the left, and I'll place my wind dot. Now the card is configured in airplane mode so we can rotate it around into wind mode. Again, wind mode simply being the wind direction will be found at the top when the airspeed dot is over the center line. So as I rotate this to be over the center line, and then I move my card for a convenient count up from the grommet, I can see that I have 10, 20, 32 knots of wind, and the wind direction is 100, 28 degrees.